Go to the light. We've um, now we see the lungis. I don't even want to know how much they are. We always find these markets, and no matter where they are, here's an here's an older indigenous woman. No matter where they are, they're always pretty much the same. They have the same setup. Don't know what these, check these out. Oh, he's got a gun. No matter where they are, they're pretty much the same, same setup. And the only thing different are the people and the stuff that they're selling. But it's just basic goods, you know, like, here, like utensils, plates, cups, bowls, pots, pans, Hello? cooking oil, toothpaste, you know, fruit, vegetables, and it's just all the basic stuff and it's always the best priced. So yesterday we were in Kalo and we went to have lunch. Actually, it was the day before. And we, we weren't in a touristy part of the town, but um, it was definitely, you know, property value was a little bit more. And for a good-sized lunch for the food, it was 3,000 kyat. And then yesterday, we went to eat right in the market uh, with all the local folks, and it was half that price. So we've really learned that for the cheap food, the cheap quality food, too, I mean, both meals were really good, but one was double the price. So that's really what we're looking for, because, you know, once the money goes, the travel ends. So you want to save as much money as you can. But we love these markets. Here's bicycles, motorcycles. I think, I think one of our favorite markets was in Bamako, in Mali. It was just incredible. It was the whole center of the town. And they had half the stuff you saw, I couldn't even recognize it. I had no idea what it was. But uh, full of local folks. <laughs> 